This past couple weeks have been absolutely glorious. Parents and pastors standing up for what's right regarding our children. And I say our children because that's what they are. Okay, it's our duty to protect children, period. Whether they're yours or your neighbors. Okay, we're commanded to love our neighbors and that includes their children. And what you're starting to see is that many of these blue state supporters are now changing sides. They're now thinking differently. And it's because their children are being directly affected by this LGBT agenda. It always hits different when it's your child. Because many of these parents are all for the agenda, the quote unquote agenda, for the sake of getting along. But when the agenda creeps into their home, that's when it gets real. Check out this clip of Pastor John going off, literally going off, on a wicked school board committee for, for basically promoting pornographic reading material to children. A controversial children's book teaching graphic sex acts, complete with illustrations, making the rounds in school libraries and classrooms across the country, leaving parents and communities outraged. One concerned pastor tried to read the book at a school board meeting, but officials asked him to stop. Here's what he had to say about that. If you don't want to hear it in a school board meeting, why should children be able to check it out of the school system? You see, we have perverts that are perverting our kids. And you all sit back smug in your chairs and celebrate diversity, equity, and inclusion, but you don't want me to read it so you can hear it. The Reverend John Amanchuku spoke at that school board meeting, and he joins me now. Reverend, thank you so much for being here. They did not let you talk about the book, but I will. What's in this book? <laughs> this book is for children 10 years of age and up. This book is not soft porn. It's hardcore porn. It details explicitly with pornographic images homosexual sex, lesbian sex, um, straight sex. It promotes and glorifies masturbation while speaking against religion to may call that behavior a sin. This book is used as a tool to create what I call mental rape in the hearts and the minds of children. We are robbing kids of their innocence in America as we allow diversity, inclusion, and equity to dominate our schools. And so Just one thing as, as a side note is that um, I believe by their own words, I can say this, that if, if you're now sending your children to, to public schools and to public universities, you, you need to realize you're sending them to religious institutions set against the God of creation. And, and you know, if you, uh, l let me give you an illustration. So if you have a big sore on your head that's bleeding and never heals, and you say, the doctors can't cure me, and you say, Brother Paul, could you, could you pray or do something and maybe come up with an answer? And I say, well, I'm no doctor, but I'll, I'll watch you. So at one o'clock in the morning, I see that you get up out of bed and the clock strikes one and you smack your head against the wall and then you go back to bed and then clock strikes two, you get up and you do it again and go through 24 hours and you've beat yourself rather badly against the wall. And I come to you and say, well, I'm no doctor, but I think I've found your problem. <laughs> you, you're sitting there, so many people and they're going, I don't know why we're losing our generations. I don't know why. Because you're sending them to religious institutions that hate your God. And you need to realize that. <laughs>